Early in the morning, we found Munezi Rojampor instructing a group he's leading to maintain the security of the Rujezi Valley. The group of 54, known as Rujezi Rangers, started operations in 2017 to rehabilitate this valley that sits on 6,700 hectares. Munezero says they solved many problems, including security. Before work, people used to cut down trees which were home to so many animals I was telling you about, including birds, and once you destroy their habitat, they are bound to move away. Which is why, for the biggest part, we focus on people that want to take over the valley. We used to give information of smugglers that used to operate here. Many of them were arrested, and these activities have decreased, and our work has been significant here. Different species of birds that had fled the valley due to human population have now returned. Activities aimed at restoring biodiversity are also ongoing. Residents say the Rujezi Valley's development is significant in terms of protecting the environment and attracting tourists. While standing on the hill and look at the landscape of this valley, everyone would wish to come and visit this place and experience the natural beauty of this valley. We wish for so many other runners across the country to come and visit and see the beauty of this place. We have so far planted over 15,000 trees on the Basebia Island and over 18,000 trees on the Murua Island. All the activities done here, it's the residents of these places that help us do that. We plant for them grass in addition to the one they look for themselves, for their fields, which they feed their cows, which enables them not to destroy the valley. Those are some of the jobs created for these residents. Crested cranes make up a big percentage of all birds in this valley. A quarter of the 1,000 crested cranes in Rwanda are found in this valley. As a result, the Rwanda Wildlife Conservation Association has continued its activities in the valley. Dr. Sengimana Olivier, the head of the association, emphasizes that such environmental conservation activities attract more tourists in such places other than just national parks. We create jobs through the various activities we have. We create children clubs to be able to utilize the environment in a good way that benefits us. We can benefit from these activities such as tourism and for our future generations too. The goal is to show Rwandans that we own the country. It's entirely up to us to protect our environment, and it's us it benefits. No one should do that for us. The Rujezi Valley is part of six sectors of Wurere District and two sectors of Jitrumbi District. The Minister of Environment, Dr. Jean d'Arc Mojao Maria, points out that such places exist across the country and that everyone's cooperation is needed for the benefit of the conservation of the ecosystems involved. There's so many different species of beautiful birds that came back, reptiles too. You shouldn't worry about them though. We can live together with them in harmony. Various birds like crested cranes, marabou stocks, all these came back. So I welcome everyone to help us in conserving and finding new places as these across the country to increase the good quality of the air that we breathe. Rwanda is home to four national parks that are often visited by tourists. The increase in tourist attractions is one of the reasons why the areas in which these places are often visited and developed. The tourism sector accounted for 48% of the country's gross domestic product.